Okay, so it's the 13th of November today. This can be possibly one of a couple of things. So that's why I'm not seeing what it is. Oh, great. That's just great when it bloody doesn't turn like that. Okay, so this is this one first, okay. So, got the Underwater Menace. Uh, this is the Blu-ray Steelbook release. So yeah, this came out today at the time of recording this. So, yeah, and... Um, hmm, we'll see what I think about it when I actually watch it. I will do probably a review of it at some point when I've watched it. But, uh, yeah, for now, here it is. I will also be ripping this and also grayscaling the colour version. So I've got a 16x9 black and white version because I'm not watching something where it crops stuff off. So there we go. There's the artwork in full. And, uh... We'll have a look at the booklet in just a second, if I can get the booklet out. There we go. Yeah, the standard release artwork, as ever, is crap. Like, it's not the worst one, but, like, I just think it looks crap, to be honest. It's basic, you know, I mean, I can show it on the disc, it's just like, mm, I don't like you. I don't particularly like you much either. Uh, there we go. It's like, yeah. It's a shame. Um, in terms of standard releases, I think one of the best ones was Power of the Dogs, but that had separate artwork. And there you go. God, that is really wobbly on there, actually. So it's like the actual tin bit itself is really bloody wobbling quite a bit on there on my one yeah if I can demonstrate this yes yeah, only barely clipped on but uh yeah let's put the discs back in what's that disc two that's the colour animation so I'll be ripping that one first I'll put disc disc one is the black and white uh cropped and uh the Surviving episodes are on disc one. So, yay, thankfully, they had the foresight to put them on the same disc eventually after people, you know, complained. I do like the fact that we do get the spook, the book clicks on that, and they do have a lot of like information and that's in there. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Like this one, because mm. the thing is, I'm worried about how much this is going to deviate from the original. And I think the problem also is, is that like some people don't mind it, but for me personally, when you deviate too much from the original, but you know you're still trying to be a recreation of the original, it's like you know th there's a fine line. Like for example, stuff I you know I'm all for and I don't mind at all is like for example, Power the Daleks you know having more actual Daleks thing rather than just cardboard cutouts that perfectly fine but um like stuff like when we got like uh with the designs of certain characters and things in this mm. like for example when you're basically very disrespectful to the original actors and basically not using their likenesses this shows it quite well actually it's a bit loose there tin Seems alright though, I'd rather have it be a little bit loose like that than have it dinted. And that, it's not something I would take back over it, so yeah. But uh, there we go people, there we go.